now in this paper number 80 question number 31 one is added to all the digits smaller than 5 as tell me what is the number here the number is 3968 3968 2147 now 1 is added to all the digits smaller than 5 now what are, what are the digits that are smaller than 5 3 hence 1 is added to this one 1 is added 1 is added to this one and similarly 1 is added to this one as well because it is also lesser than 5 and here 1 is added to this one 1 is added and 1 is subtracted from all the digits greater than 5 and the remaining 1 1 is subtracted from each of these number digits 3 plus 1 is 4 this is 8 6 minus 1 5 7 3 2 5 6 then which of the following will digit will appear twice in the new number thus form as tell me what is the digit here only 5 only 5 that is given in choice 2 then question number 1 that is choice 2 and 32 now question number 32 a b 3 c e 6 and so on then compare the letters here a b c e f 5 and j n then what should be the next one now the difference between a and c is plus 2 here it is plus 3 plus 4 next difference must be plus 5 j plus 5 is o and similarly b and e the difference is plus 3 e and 4 plus 5 next one is plus 6 and n plus 6 is t then what is the element here o and t then what is the number here 3 6 10 15 plus 3 now the number is 3 here the number is 6 next one is 10 next one is 15 next one must be how much here the difference is plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 the next one is plus 6 15 plus 6 is 21 hence o t 21 choice 3 question number 32 it is choice 3 then question number 33 no emancipate a m a n c i p a t now in this word with the first fifth seventh and eight first next one is fifth c and the next one is seventh seventh letter is p and the eighth letter is a hence with the help of these four letters what are the, the words that can be formed? Yes, tell me what are the words here? Pace, P A C E Pace. Next one, C A P E K. Are the two words that can be formed? Then what is your answer here? If more than one such word, what will be the second letter of the word? More than one such word can be formed, and it is given in choice one. Now two words can be formed with the help of these four letters. Then question number 34. Now 34 to 36. Now these three questions are based on blood relations. Now J is the brother of L can be written as J is the brother of L, P is the son of L. As P is the son of L, here P is the son of L, J is the only son of R. As J is the only son of R, J and L are siblings to each other. As J is the only son, this L must be a female. J is the only son of R, W is the father-in-law of L. As what do you mean by this father-in-law? That means L's husband's father is W. W is the father-in-law of whom? W is the father-in-law of L. D is the grandfather of P. As D is the grandfather of P, now sir, this D can be either the paternal grandfather or maternal grandfather. Father's father or, ma or mother's father. Out of which father's fa father is not positive because this father's father is already W. Isn't it? Hence, who is that person here? D is the grandfather of P. And this D is none other than the husband of R. Done with this? D is the grandfather of P. Q is the only son of W. As Q is the only son of W, Q must be here. And W is the father of N. Now this W is the father of N. As Q is the only son. And son is the daughter of this W. Clear now? Then according to this one, question number 34, how is D related to J? As tell me what is the answer here, D related to J? J's. How is D related to J? No. How is D related to J? Then father. Now J's father is D. Father that is given in choice 5. Then question number 35. If C is the daughter of N. C is the daughter of N means C can be somewhere here. C is the daughter of N. 
then how is L related to C? L related to C means C is L related to C. How is L related to C? Now on. Now is here. How is this Q related to C? Q is the uncle and the uncle's wife, that is aunt. Then what is your answer here? If C is the daughter of N, then how is L related to C? How is L related to C? What is the answer here? Aunt. Aunt that is given in choice 3. 35 choice 3. Then question number 36. Now 36. How is P related to N? As tell me how is this P related to N here? P is here and N is here. How is P related to N? N's brother's son. Brother's son is nephew. Nephew that is choice 4. Nephew choice 4 is the answer. Then question number 37. Now in this question number 37, how many flats are there? There are some 5 flats. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are the 5 flats. And A, B, X, Y and Z are constructed on 5 different floors of a building but not necessarily in the same order. The lowermost floor of the building is number 1, the one above that one is number 2 and so on. Now this is how these 5 flats were constructed and so on. There are only 3 flats between A and B. As there are 3 flats between A and B, if A is on the top floor, B is on the ground or if A is on the fifth one and this will be on here. Now how many flats are there? There are 5 flats. As 5 flats are there, now the flat numbers are like this 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. Now 3 flats are in between. 3 flats are in between A and X. As 3 flats are in between A and X, if A is on the fifth floor, X will be here or 3 flats are there in between A and B. Now B will be here. Then what is the other case here? If A is on the first floor, B will be on the top floor. There are three flats between A and B. Next one. And no flat is constructed between A and X. That means A and X are consecutive flats. And Y is constructed on one of the floors below X. As Y is constructed on one of the floors below X, now the second case is possible because there is no floor left over below this X. Hence, if Y is here, then what is the other thing left over here? Z will be here or if y is here, z will be here. And so how many possibilities do we have? We have some two possibilities. The question is about what? On the third floor. Which flat was there on the third floor? Either y or z cannot be determined. So I is 3. Done with this? Then question number 38 onwards. 38 to 42. 12 people are seated in two parallel rows. Now 6 people in each of these rows. Now 6 and the six persons are opposite to this row and in row one in row one def klm are seated and all of them are facing north now this is the row which is facing north and who are the persons here def and klm are the six persons who are facing towards north and in the second row stu x y and z now in the second row stu x y z are the six persons who are facing towards south and all of them are facing south E is seated third from one of the extreme ends of the row. As E is seated third from one of the extreme ends of the row, how many possibilities do we have? We have some two possibilities. E can be here, that is one possibility, and the second possibility, three, four, five, and six. Here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, E can be at this place. How many possibilities do we have? We have some two possibilities to this E. E is seated third from one of the extreme ends of the row. The one who faces E, seated second to the left of S. Now this person is seated second to the left of S, hence S must be here. Clear? The one who is facing E, seated second to the left of S. Similarly here also the one who is facing E is this person, seated second to the left of S. And only three people are in between S and T. How many people are in between S and T? Exactly three people. Here also only three people between S and T. And one of the immediate neighbors of F faces T. As one of the immediate neighbors of F faces T, F must be here in this case. Now one of the immediate neighbors of F faces T means F can be either here or here. Isn't it? Immediate neighbors of F is facing T. More than two people between F and L. As more than two people between F and L. More than two means either three people or four people must be in between F and L. As F is here. Now in the first case L must be here. That is the only possibility because we are having three persons which is more than two. And only three persons. Now if you take F at this place, then L must be here. Then there are only two persons between F and L which is not possible because we should have more than three persons. 
Hence, where should this f be? Hence, f cannot be here. As f cannot be here, then what is the possibility left to this f? And f must be at this place. As f is here, then how many persons are more than 2? L can be either at this place or at this place. There are two possibilities. And more than two people between f and l, x faces l. As x is facing l, now in the first case, x must be here. And now l cannot be at this place because if l is here, l is facing s rather than x. Hence, l is here, x will be here. Then, only one person between x and y. Between x and y, tell me how many persons are there? There is exactly one person. y is here. And y is here, there is only one person between x and y. D faces one of the immediate neighbors of y. As D faces one of the immediate neighbors of y, hence D must be here or here, out of which here it is already E, hence D must be here. D faces one of the immediate neighbors of y. Now in this one, D faces one of the immediate neighbors of y, hence D must be at this place. U sits to the immediate right of z. As U is to the immediate right of z, U is here, and z will be here. These persons are facing south, and their left hand side is to, right hand side is towards our left hand side. U sits to the, U is to the immediate right of Z. Now in this one, U is to the immediate right of Z is not possible because there are two, there are no two vacant places, adjacent vacant places. And this case is ruled out. Now we are left with only one case. Then in this one, U sits to the immediate right of Z. K sits at one of the positions to the right of M. As K is at one of the positions to the right hand side of M, M is here and K is here. Done with this? Now this is how these 12 persons are seated in two different rows, six people in each. Then question number 38. And what is the position of K with respect to D? Yes, what is the position of K with respect to D? Tell me here. Now fourth right. Now fourth right. And it is given in choice two. Then question number 39. How many people sit between L and the one who faces S? L and the one who faces S. Now who is facing S here? D is facing S. Now between L and D, how many persons are there? There is no one. No one. That is given in choice 4. Then question number 40. As per the given arrangement, 4 are the following are alike. 4 are the following is nothing but an odd man out. Now X and M. X is here, M is here. Now between X and M, how many persons are there? X is second left hand side, opposite is M. Isn't it? Next one, T and E. Now T is second right opposite is E, Y and L. What about this Y and L? Y's second right opposite is L and Z and F. Z and F are opposite to each other except the choice 4 and in the remaining choices. Now this person, one of the person is seated in the alternate position to the person opposite to him. Hence the choice 4 is the other one. Then question number 41. Who among the following faces you? Tell me who is the person facing you here? E. E that is given in choice 3. Now this is about question numbers. And 42 is also there, right? Now question number 42. Which of the following statements is not true? Not true means definitely false. Yes, tell me which of the following statements is definitely false. And choice 2, L sits at an extreme end of the row. That is definitely true. Hence it cannot be your choice. S faces D, that is also true. E is an immediate neighbor of D, that is false. And T sits to the immediate left of Z is true. Hence, what is your answer here? Choice 4 is definitely false. Then, 38 to 42, then question number 43 onwards. 43 to 45. Now, question number 43. Now, these 43 to 46. These questions are based on data sufficiency. And data sufficiency, two statements data sufficiency. Six people. Who are those six people here? M and O. W, X and Y. Six people M and O, W, X and Y are sitting in a strike line. Now what is the question here? The question is, are all the persons facing down? Yes, what is the question here? Whether all the persons are facing towards north or not. Now R, E, R, E, R. Whenever the question is about E, R, E, R, I, S, E, S, now it is nothing but S and no type of questions. Definitely true, definitely false. Now, S and no type of questions. If you prove definitely true, then also it will be your answer. If you say the answer is false, then also it will be your answer. Isn't it? Then, now in this one, six people, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now we need to say whether all the persons are facing towards north or all the persons are not facing north. Both these two can be your answer. Then condition number one. 
m sits second from from one of the extreme ends of the row. m is seated second from one of the extreme ends of the row. This is m can be either at this place. Then what is the other possibility here? m can be at this place. There are two possibilities to this m. m sits at one of the extreme ends of the line. x sits out to the right of m. As x is seated out to the right of m, x is here. Then x is seated out to the right of m. M must be facing towards north. And in the second one, x is here. Then m must be facing towards south. Are you following this one or not? X sits out to the right of m. Both the immediate neighbors of x faces north. Immediate neighbors of x faces north. And here also immediate neighbors of x faces north. Both the immediate neighbors of x faces north. And m sits forth through the right of y. As m is seated forth through the right of y, 1, 2, 3, 4, y will be here. And in this case, m sits forth through the right of y, y will be here. Isn't it? Now, in these two cases, if you observe here in the first case, m sits forth through the right of y, is it possible? No, because this person is facing towards north. As this person is facing towards north, then m sits forth through the left of y rather than right. Hence, this case is ruled out. Isn't it? Because one of the conditions is invalid. What is that condition here? m is seated forth to the right of y is false because y is not m is forth to the left rather than right then coming to the next one now in this one what happens here now we are left with only one possibility and m sits forth to the right of y y is facing north then m is forth to the right of y are we getting an answer or not yes what is the question here whether all the persons are facing towards north but as here we have proven a case wherein one of the person is facing south as one person is facing south then all the persons facing north is false. Are you getting the answer or not? Yes, what is the answer here? Only one alone is sufficient. Chapani Kremaru to Nadikada, Andru North Kunara and Sadiya. Mana in Japali. Andru Nar and Chapukalagari Lagbote. Kantamandi for South Kuna Andru Lair and Sate Manan Japas. Ikraman came which is the final ga okay the South Kuna. Okay, South Kuna Gapti remaining Andru North Kunara Lair. Isn't it? And so are we getting the answer or not? We are getting, definitely we are getting the answer because all the persons are not facing towards north. Because there is one person who is facing south, hence all are not north. Then coming to condition number two. Then in condition number two, y sits at one of the extreme ends of the row. Now six people are there, y seated at one of the extreme ends of the row, that is one possibility. And the second one, y sits at one of the extreme ends of the line and faces north. Now this y is facing north and y faces not only two people between y and o o is here and y and o o is here and n sits second to the right of o as n is seated second to the right of o n can be either here or here in this case also here or here hence we cannot definitely say because there are two possibilities in this one and we cannot able to finalize the people as well then what is your answer here two alone is not sufficient to definitely say that whether all the persons are north or not north then what is your answer here only one alone is sufficient and only one alone is given with choice, only one alone, that is choice 5. <coughs> choice 5, question number 43. Then question number 44. Now in this question number 44, on which day of the same week did Surabhi go to her interview? Now according to condition number 1, Surabhi's father correctly remembered that she went for her interview after Monday, but before Saturday. After Monday, before Saturday could be either Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. How many different days we have? There are four different days. But not on Thursday. Thursday is ruled out. Still we are having three days. Three days. On these three days, he can appear on any one of these days. Hence, one alone is not sufficient because you are getting three different answers. Then condition number two, Surabhi's sister correctly remembers she went for her interview on one of the days after Tuesday but not Saturday. After Tuesday. After Tuesday, it can be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and so on, but not sorted. And so how many days are there? There are three days. Now, one alone is not sufficient because we are getting three answers and two alone is not sufficient, we are having three. Then by combining these two, tell me what are the days which are common. Now this person can be on Wednesday, Friday or Wednesday, Friday. Are you getting two different answers or not? And so what is your answer here? By combining these two also, we cannot able to determine the day on which she went to an interview. Then what is your answer here? Both is also not sufficient or not sufficient that is choice two. Both one and two are not sufficient that is choice two. Then question number 45. Now in this question number 45, what is given here? Five boxes A, B, C, D and E are kept one above the other but not necessarily in the same order. 
what is the position of D in the given stack of boxes. Now, how many boxes are there? There are five boxes and these five boxes are kept one above the other. Then tell me what is the first condition. Now, we need to find out the position of this D. Then condition number one, in order to determine the position of D, what is the statement that is required? One alone. What is one alone here? B is kept immediately above D. Now, this B is kept immediately above D, immediately above D, next one. Only one box is kept between D and A. As only one box is kept between D and A, A can be immediately before B or what is the other possibility here? B and D is here. There is one blank between D and A. Are you following this one or not? There is only one box between D and, B, D and A. Only three boxes are kept between A and C. Between A and C, how many boxes are there? If A is here, C will be here. That is one possible term. The second one is if A is here, C will be here, second possible. Only three boxes are kept between A and C and C is not kept at the topmost position. As C is not at the topmost position, the second case is ruled out. Now, we are left with only this case. Now, in this case, what is order here? Now, A is here, then B will be here, then D will be here. If D is here, what is left over here? E will be here. Now, the question is about the position of this D and it is at the third place. Are you getting the answer or not? And so, as of now, one alone is sufficient to determine the position of D in that stack. Then condition number two, only one box is kept between B and E and A is kept immediately above B. Now, only one box is kept between B and E that is one possibility or if B is here, only one box is kept between B and E. There are two possibilities and A is kept immediately above B, A is here and A is here. A is kept immediately above B. D is kept at one of the positions above C. Now, D is at one of the positions above C, then what are the possibilities we have? D is at one of the positions above C, D can be here, then C will be here, isn't it? Now, A, B, D, A, C, D is at one of the positions above C. And in the next case, what happens here? E, A, B is here. If E is here, E, A, B, then D is kept one of the positions above C, it can be like this, isn't it? Hence, we can have n number of possibilities in this one. As of now, what is the answer here? D can be at the third place or can be at the first place. Am I getting a unique answer here? No. As more than one answer is possible, two alone is not sufficient. Hence, only one alone is sufficient. Data in statement one alone is sufficient to determine the position of this D. Then question number 46. Now in this 46, how is cry coded in the code language? Then, now condition number one, what yard. As what is the code to this word yard here? Yard is coded as hash seven dollar two and LID lid. Now this lid is coded as and nine star into nine star two and yard lid and clay as clay. What is the code to this word clay here? And the clay is coded as five nine seven five nine seven and hash. Then in this one, now if you compare the first one and the second words, as what is the letter? Now the question is about CRY cry. And now condition number, if you compare the first and the second words, yard and lead, what is the letter which is common here? D is common. And what is the code common here? 2 is common. And the code to the letter D is 2. And at the same time, if you observe here, L and A. A and Y are the words which are common. Here also A and Y is common, isn't it? Then what are the codes common here? A and Y, the codes could be either 7 and hash, hash and 7 in any order. Then are we getting any answer here? Now if you observe here, now as of now we cannot able to determine the code, but whereas if you observe here, why is there at the first place and what is there at the first place? Hash. Here, why is there at the last place? Hash is there at the last place. Here A is there at the second place, dollar is there at the second place. Here A is at the third place and A is at the third place. Then what is the element here? Seven. In the moon, 7 on the clay, now Y, A, R, D, A, A is 7, isn't it? Now A is 7 here, now 7 is there at the second place, here also 7 is there at the third place. Then D, if you check out D at the last place, here also 2 is at the last place. Then what can you infer from this one? The letters and the codes are directly given, isn't it? Then what is the code to the word cry here? The code to the word C is 5 in the same order and R is dollar and Y is Y is S. Are we getting an answer or not? And one alone is sufficient 
to determine the answer. <coughs> then coming to condition number two. Now the question is about what? What is the code to the word cry? Then condition number two. Now in this condition number two, what is given here? In the given code language C Y A N. Now this C Y A N is coded as 597. 597 percent is 597 hash. 597 hash and N I L nil. Now what is the code to this one nil here? Percentage star 9, percentage star and 9. And next one, R A I D. S what is the code to this word rate? Dollar 7 star and 2. Now these are the elements. Then what is the code to the word cry? Tell me what are the elements which are common here? C Y A N. C Y A N. What is the code to this word? Sign? 5 has 7 percentage. 5 has 7 percentage is the code. 5 has 7 and a percentage, isn't it? And next one. Tell me what is the element which is common here? N is there at the last place. Here N is there at the first place. Percentage is there at the last place. Percentage is there at the first place. And similarly, A is at the third place. 7 is there at the third place. Here A is at the second place. 7 is there at the second place, isn't it? Are we getting a unique answer or not? The letters and the codes are corresponding to each other, directly given. Then what is the code to the word cry? Tell me what is the code to this C? C is 5 and R, R is dollar and what is the code to this Y? Y is yes. Are we getting a unique answer or not? One alone is sufficient, two alone is sufficient. Each statement alone is sufficient, then what is your answer here? Each statement alone, that means either one alone or two alone is sufficient choice please, choice two is the answer. Done? Now this is about each statement alone is sufficient, choice two. Then question number 47. Now in this 47 in the word figures, all the vowels are arranged in the alphabetical order. All the vowels are arranged in which order? Now this is the word F I G U R E S figures. Now all the words are arranged in the alphabetical order. Tell me how many words, vowels are there? E, I, U are the three vowels. Then all the consonants are arranged in the ascending order that is E, F, G, e, F, G, S and R. Then R and S, R and S, F, G, R and S, no. Then what is the question here? F, G, R, S. Then how many letters will be there in the English alphabetical series between the third letter from the left? What is the third letter from the left? It is here U and the second letter from the right. What is the second from the right? R. Then tell me how many letters are there in the alphabetical order? Not here, in the alphabetical order. How many letters are there between R and U? S and T are the only two letters. S and T that is choice. Clear now? Now once again, no need to work out this entire procedure because the question is about what? The question is about what? First all the vowels are arranged in the alphabetical order. Next consonants are arranged in the alphabetical order. Then the third letter from the left hand side and the second from the right hand side. Now tell me which letter comes at the third place. Now from the beginning what are the letters that are arranged? Vowels are arranged. How many vowels are there? three vowels and the third vowel comes to this place you. And again, after followed by this one, consonants will be arranged. Then what is the last consonant here? At the last place, highest consonant. What is the highest consonant? S. And before that one, R. Now how many letters are there in between these two? S and T is the answer, okay? No need to work out this entire procedure, 47. Then question number 48 onwards. Now in this 48, 48, 49, 50 is based on comparison. Six people research on a topic for different number of years. Different number of years is given. Six people, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And six people are being compared in different number of different number of years. Then condition number one. G does not, G does research for more number of years than E. G more than what? G is more than E, but lesser than K. G more than E, but less than K. L does research for more number of years than K. L is more than K, but less than F. L is more than K, but less than F. Then what is order here? F, L, isn't it? F, L, and more than F, F will be here. Then what is the other possibility here? One more possibility. M does not research for, but less than F. M does research one more year than E. One more year than E. Then where should this M? M must be in between these two. Clear now? M is one more than year. The one who does research 
for the third longest duration does research for six. Then what is the order here? F L K G M E is the order in which these six persons have done. Now the question is about the one who does research for the longest duration does for six years. Longest duration is what? Longest duration is for six years. And the shortest duration is for three years. Longest is for six years and the shortest is for three years. Longest is six. Tell me what is the longest year? Longest is who is the longest year? F is the longest, isn't it? F is higher than all these person. Third longest. Now the one who does research for the shortest duration, the one who does research for the third long. F is the longest, and the second longest is L, and the third longest is K. Hence, now this K will be six years. Then, what is the other information here? The shortest. Shortest duration is E, and this, this person has done for three years. Then, whatever the remaining here, the remaining four and five and so on, isn't it? Then, for a how many years does G, G do his research? Tell me what is the answer here? Now, each one different years. This will be four. This will be five. Hence, G has done for five years. That is choice four. The next one, question number forty-nine. Now, in this question number forty-nine, which are the following is true with respect to the given information? L research for the second highest. That is definitely true or not? Definitely true. Then, now all the statements is true is also given. Then, condition number two, M did research for second shortest. M is second shortest shortest. That is also true. Hence, all the choices are definitely true. Choice five. Third option. L possibly did research for eight years. Possibly, yes, possible. Eight and this could be nine. Now, so these four persons are what? These four persons. Now, here it is given that one more year and one more year is given. But where is no information given about these two persons whether they are one more or two more or something else, isn't it? Hence, possibly eight years. Then question number fifty. If F did research for five years more than K. F is five years more than K means F will be what? F will be eleven. Then what is the sum of the duration of F and M? F is eleven. M is four. Eleven plus four, fifteen. So I is five. Then question numbers fifty-one to fifty-five. Now in this fifty-one to fifty-five, ABC publication house published different number of books in different years. Now the years were given nineteen forty-nine. Yes, tell me what are the years here? Nineteen forty-nine, fifty-four, eighty-two, and next one is eighty-seven, ninety-nine, and finally two thousand four. Two thousand four. And so how many years? There are six years: forty-nine, fifty-four, eighty-two, eighty-seven, ninety-nine, and two thousand four are the six years. Then among these six, and it is assumed that the publication house did not publish any book in any year other than. Any book in any year other than the given years, 56 books were published in one of the given odd number years. How many odd number years are there? 49 is one, 87 is other, 99 is other. Hence there are three. Out of which, but not in 49. Hence 49 is ruled out. Then 56 were books were in which year? Either in the year 87 or in the year 99. Hence 56. There are two possibilities. Isn't it? Then ABC published books twice, only twice between 56 and 61. Between 56 and 61, there must be two years, isn't it? Now 56 and 61, 56 is what? 87. Now in case one, this 61 must be in which year? 61 must be in 49 because between these two, there must be only two, only two occasions wherein they have published this. And here 61 must be in 1954. And there is a difference of five years between 61 and 24. 61 and 24. What is the difference here? Difference years. Now 49 is one, and 49 plus four plus five, it will be 54. And five years between 61 and 24, and 24 books were published in 1954. And similarly, here also there must be five years between 61 and 24, and 61 is in 54. Five years either ascending or descending. That is not clearly known. Hence, 24 can be here as well, because between 24 and 61 there must be a gap of five years. Then next one, and 28 more books were published in 82.
then in 1954 and 28 more in more in 82 than in 1954 1954 how many are there 24 and since 1982 how much how many should be there and 28 more than 24 and how much is that 52 and similarly here 61 and 61 plus so how much 28 61 plus 28 is how much 61 plus 28 is 89 and number of books 28 more books were published in 82 then in 1954 in 1954 61 here 28 more than 61 it is 89 the number of books published in 82 is less than 99 82 is less than 99 now in this one now in the second case 822 is 89 and 99 is 56 now 89 is more than 56 but as it should be less than 56 and this second case is ruled out now we are left with only one case then the difference in the number of books published in 54 and 87 54 and 87 difference here he is talking about difference between 87 and 54 what is that one 56 minus 24 is 32 and this 32 is same as the books published in 2004 and the difference between these two is the number of books published in 2004 the difference between 56 and 24 is 32 32 number of books were published in 2004 then and the number of books published in 99 is 20 more than 1949 20 more than 1949, 1949 it is 61, 20 more than, 20 more than this will be 81, clear now? Now this was recently given in IBPS PO Tire 1 examination, IBPS PO Tire 1 in one of the slots he has given this project, the same, the only thing which matters is the numbers were changed but the concept is one and the same. Done. Now this is about question numbers 51 to 55. Then 51. How many years ago from 2018? How many years ago from where? From 2018. Were the least number of books ever published by ABC? Least number of books were published in which year? 1954. Now 2018 to 1954. How many years are there? 46 plus 18. 46 plus 18 is how much? 64. 64 years. That is choice one. Now the difference between 2018 and 1954, the total number of years is 64. Then question number 52, ABC published 32 books in which among these years, and 32 in 2004, and the 2004 was given in choice 4. Then next one, question number 53, which of the following statements is true with respect to the given information? 56 books were published in 1987. 56 in 1987, that is definitely true or not? Yes, one is true. More books were published in 2004 than in 1949. More books were published in 2004 than in 1949. 2004, how many books are there? 2004, 32. 1949, 61. And this is false. 24 books were published in one of the years after 90. After 90, and how many books? 24. That is also false. Isn't it? 24 is in 1954, but not after 1990. Hence, only 1 alone is 2. Only 1 alone choice, please. Choice 1 is the answer. And this is about 53. Then question number 54. In you know, how many of the given years were more books published than published in 1999? 1999, how many books? 81. And in which of the following years? How many of the given years were? You know, how many of the given years were more books published than those published in 1999? In 1999 is the highest, and in none of the given years, more books were published than this one, choice one. Then question number 55. Now in this 55, how many books were published in 1949? 1949, 61, that is choice one. Now this is about question numbers 51 to 55, then 56 to 58. Then question numbers 56 to 58. Then what is the given information here 56 to 58? Now this is based on a small set of three marks is based on what directions. Now as what is the first information here? U is 10 meters to the north of Q. 
u is 10 meters to the north of q tell me how to represent this one u is 10 meters to the north of q question number 57 as u is 10 meters to the north of q now let us take q at this place if q is here u is how many meters 10 meters u is 10 meters to the north of q arvin starts walking towards south from point q point q he walks 20 meters to reach point r that means point r is how many meters from point q 20 meters from point q and he walks for 20 20 meters to reach u is 10 meters to the north of q arvin starts from towards south from point q he walks 20 meters to reach point p it is point p then after this p point p then from this point p he then takes a left hand and walks for 25 meters to reach point r from here left hand side and travel for how many meters 25 meters to reach point r and sami starts walking towards east from point u he walks for 10 meters from here how much distance this person has covered only 10 meters sami started walking towards east from point u covered 10 meters and he walks for 10 meters to reach point point t he walks for 10 meters to reach point t he then takes a right turn and walks for 15 meters from here he has taken 15 meters and this will be 15 because this length is 10 and this 15 must be more than this one 15 meters to reach point s now this will be point s point s then point l is 15 meters to the east of s from here l is how many meters 15 meters l is 15 meters to the east of point s this will be 15 then this is the final direction now in this diagram if you observe here the distance between p and r is almost 25 now this is a horizontal distance between u and t this is 10 s and l this is 15 this 25 equals to 10 plus 15 25 hence these horizontal straight line are okay equal now we are left with only the vertical distance between l and r then what is the distance between l and r tell me what is the distance between l and r now here what is the total vertical distance 20 plus 20 is 30 and out of this 30 this person has already covered 15 how much more should be covered out of this 30 15 is covered and 15 more is there that is choice 5 isn't it now point l is 15 meters to the east of point s what is the distance between point l and point r point s this is question number 57 right now one more question is there 56 now if point m is the midpoint of the straight line found by u and p now u and p the straight line what is the total distance between u and p the total distance between u and p is so much 10 plus 20 it is 30 now the total distance is 30 then this m is the midpoint of this one midpoint of this one means it must be exactly somewhere here and what is the distance between u and m u and m it is 15 now from between these two also it must be 15 then which of the following will be correct condition number one s will be 10 meters to the east of m true or false s is 10 meters to the east of m m is here s is here now so this is already 15 and this is all also 15 hence both these two are of the same length now the distance between these two is equal to this distance and so how much is this one 10 meters s is 10 meters to the east of point m true or false definitely true then condition number two m will be to the south of point q m is to the south of point q or not l m is to the south of point q q is here m is here and m is to the south of point q what is the distance between these two the distance is 5 meters and m and r and l form a straight line m and l form a straight line but whereas r is not in a straight line with m and l then what is your answer here only 1 and 2 is true only 1 and true both 1 and 2 that is choice 3 then question number 57 57 done and 58 in which direction is point t with respect to point p and p is here t is here tell me what is the direction here now the direction from p to t first we should move towards north and then towards east and so north and east to northeast northeast and it is given in choice one done with this now this is about question number 58 northeast then 59 and 60 now question number 59 and 60 it comes under coding and decoding this is for only two marks on this now 59 and 60 what does the code ag stands for now if you observe here ag between the first and the second statements new data found and new and found are the words which are common 
it also knew and found all the words which are common. And what are the codes common between these two new and found? And the codes which are common between new and found first and the second statement is AG and BT. AG, BT, it also AG, BT. Now the codes for these two words can be AG, BT in any order, isn't it? Hence, what is the code to the word data? The code to the word data is TU that can be definitely identified. Data because data is the only one word left over, only one code TU is left over. New data found, found new. Now good and friends, tell me which word is common between these two friends is the word which is common. As friends is the word which is common, then what is the code common here? CM, XO, CM is common. And the code to the word friends is CM, it also friends is CM. Then, what does the code AG stands for? Tell me what does the code AG stands for? AG stands for either new or found in any order that is choice to. Then question number 60, and what may be the possible code for my financial data? My financial data, now sir, new and found, and we got the code for this one, new and found, and friends is also completed, and what is the code to this word good here? The code to the word good is AGBTP, isn't it? The good, good is the only one word left over, and the code left over is PE, isn't it? Next one. Now in this one, friends also completed CM, and my, what is the code to this word my? My is XO. Then in this one, my financial data. My is coded as XO and financial. Now, as of now, there is no word like financial, hence we cannot able to determine the code. And to this word data, what is the code here? TU. Now, XO and TU should be the codes. And apart from this one, the code to this word financial must be any code other than the given codes, because the question is about maybe rather than a definite code. Isn't it? Hence, XO and TU. Now choice one is ruled out and X O T U there is a possibility for this one, X O T U and that's it. Now either choice one or choice two or choice three could be your answer. Out of which if you check out in choice two, X O T U, then what is left over here? R F is left over. And R F and R F is nowhere given in the codes. Hence R F can be the code to the word financial. Are you getting the answer or not? Then what is your answer here? Only two. Then X O T U, then what is the other word here? BT. And what is the code to this word BT? Can BT be the code for financial? No, because BT could be the code for either new or found, but cannot be the code for financial. Done with this? Then what is your answer here? Only two. Then question number 61 to 65. Now these five questions are based on what? Set of numbers. Tell me what are the numbers given here? 563. Now in this one, 563, 218. 563, 218, and 732. Yes, what are the numbers here? 491, and finally, 929 are the five numbers given. Then, out of it. If 2 is subtracted from the second digit of all the odd numbers, all the odd numbers, how much is subtracted here? 2 is subtracted. How many odd numbers do you have? 3 odd numbers. And 2 is subtracted from the second digit, and this will be 543, and 400 and 71 here 909 because 2 is subtracted from the second digit of all the odd numbers and 2 is added to the first digit of all the even numbers. Even numbers, how much is added here? 2 is added and this will be 418 and this will be 932. After the operation, these are the numbers here, then which of the following will be? Will form the third highest number after the given arrangement. Third highest. Now this is the first highest and this is the second highest and the third highest is 543. Now this 543 we are getting from where? 563. Choice 2 is the answer. Clear now? 61. What is your answer here? Question number 61. 61 choice 2. Then after this question number 61, then question number 62. Yes, tell me what is question number 62 here? Now, in which of the given numbers the difference between the first and the third digits is greater than the second digit? First and the third digits is greater than the second digit difference. Now, 5 minus 3 is how much? 2. It is not greater than 6. Now, 8 minus 2 is 6. It is greater than, it is greater than the second digit 1. Hence, 218 is one number. And 7 and 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. Greater than the second digit 3. And 732 is the other number. And next one. Now, 218, 732. Now, say no other choice given at all. 
18732, both these two must be combination, that is choice, one is the answer. The next one. Now here 4 minus 1 is 3, not greater than 9. 9 minus 9 is 0 and 0 is not greater than 2, isn't it? The next one. As question number 63. Now in this question number 63, what will be the resultant if the second digit of the number which is second from the right? Second digit of the number which is second from the right is 9, is divided by the third digit of the number which is third from the left. Third from the left, what is the number here? 732 and the third digit is 2. Now 9 by 2 is so much? 4.5, that is choice 1. Now question number 63, choice 1. Then 64, what will be the sum of the second digit of the smallest number and third digit of the second largest? Now smallest number. What is the smallest number among all these? Now the smallest number among all these will be, as tell me what is the smallest number among all these? 218 is the smallest number. Now in this 218, second digit of the smallest number, second digit is so much 1 and third digit of the second largest number. What is the largest number here? 929 and second largest number is 732, then what is the third digit in this one? 2, and so 1 plus 2 is so much? 3, 1 plus 2 that is 3, choice 3, 64 choice 3, then question number 65, if all the digits are arranged in the ascending order within the number, the sum of the first and the second digits of how many numbers the spawn will be more than 5, now all the digits are arranged in the ascending order within the number, now 563 will be 356, now 218 will be 128, now 732 will be 237, here yeah, this is 149 and this will be 299. Then the sum of the first and the second digits, now here the digit sum is 8, here it is 3, here it is 5, here it is 5, here it is 11. Sum of the first and the second digits of how many numbers thus found will be more than 5. Now this is more than 5, this is also more than 5, hence how many numbers? There are two numbers and 65, it is choice 5. Done with this, this is about paper number 80, question number 31 to 65. Done with this? Yes, anything else is left over? Number series not completed? Then, number series, question numbers please? 81 to 85. Now, in this one, question numbers 81 to 85. Tell me what is the logic here, 81 to 85? Now 1, 244, 163, 190, 181, the numbers are increasing and decreasing. Whenever the numbers are increasing and decreasing, we should always go for what? 1, 244, 163, 190 and 181, 181. Then if you go for the difference between these two, here the difference is so much? 243. And next one, 244 and 163, 4 minus 3, 1. And here the difference is 81 plus 243 minus 81. Then what is the difference between? 163 and 190 plus 27 and here the difference is minus 10. Then check all these numbers, what are these numbers here? And 9 into 3, 27, 27 into 3, 81, 81 into 3, 243 or 243 divided by 3, 81 by 3, 27 divided by 3, 9, 9 divided by 3, finally 3 must be added or subtracted, added. Hence 181 plus 3, 184, 184 that is choice 5. Clear? Or else powers of 3. Now this 243 can be written as 2 power 3 power 5 plus 3 power 5 minus 3 power 4 plus 3 power 3 minus 3 power 2 plus 3 power 1. Then question number 82. Now in this 82, the numbers are in the decreasing order and start in the reverse order 1, 3, 6, 18, 1, 3, 6, 18, 36. 1, 3, 6, 18, 36 can be written as then what is the previous number to 1, right? Then 18 and 36. 18 and 36, 18 into 2. Here 6 and 18, what is the difference here? Into 3. Now here 3 and 6 into 2. Here it is into 3. Next one into 2. Something into 2 must be 1. And so what is that one? 0. 0.5. Clear now? 0. 0.5 into 2 is 1. Into 3. Now this is into 2, into 3 and 3 into 2 is 6, 6 into 3 18, 18 into 2 36. Then the missing number is 0.5 choice 4. Then question number 83. 
Now in this question number 83, 18, 8, 6, 9, 23 are the numbers. 18, 8, 6, 9, 23. Then what should be the next one? Now in this one, 18 and 8 can be written as, how can you express this one? 18 into 0.5 or 1 by 2 is so much? 9, 9 minus 1 is 8. And next one, 8 and 6 can be written as, 8 into 1 is 8 minus 2. And next one, 0 0.51. One. And the next one, into 2. 6 into 2, 12 minus 3, 9. And next one, 9 into 3, 27 minus 4. Check out this one, 0 0.5123. And the next one must be, it must be multiplied with how much? Into 4. 23 into 4 is how much? 46. Clear? Into 1 by 2, into 1, into 2, into 3, into 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 5. 23 into 4, 92 minus 5 is how much? 87, that is choice 3. Next one, question number 83. Next, 84. Now, in this 84, tell me what are the numbers given in this 84? 18, 29, 18, 29, 42, 53, blank, and 77. As tell me what are the numbers. 18 and 29 can be written as 18, 29. 18 plus how much is 29? Plus 11. 29 and 42, 13. 42 and 53, 11. 11, 13, next, next one must be 13. 56, again plus 11, 77. Alternately plus 11, plus 13, plus 11, plus 13, plus 11, plus 13. Then what is the number missed out here? 66, so is 5. Then question number 85. Now in this 85, 250, 250. Again the numbers and the decreasing order, let us start in the reverse order, 148. And 167, 190, and blank, and 250. Then 148 and 167, what is the difference between these two? 48 and 67, here the difference is 19. And 67 and 90, 23. And see 19 and 23, what are these numbers? 19, 23 are prime numbers. 19, 23, next one is 29. As what is 29 here? 219 plus plus 31, plus 31 is 250. Now starting with 11, all these numbers, what are the numbers that are subtracted here? Prime numbers are subtracted, isn't it? Or in the reverse, prime numbers are added from 19, 23, 31, 37 and so on. 19, 23, 29 and 31. Then what is the number here? Number 219, choice 3. Now this is about question number 85, paper number 80. Done with this five? 